Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I'm here with a sports information, sports, you know, what's happening in sports um, uh, currently type of thing. And I am also going to, if you remember, there was a contest that I held. And it was based on a video that I did back in August. And if you recall, there's going to be a winner now because I have reached 1,000 subscribers. Yay! So, yeah. so that's a good thing. Um, and uh, we have a winner of the contest. And I will announce that and the information, the associated information, at the end of the video. So be sure to watch the entire video and stick around for that so that you can see uh, who won and, um, you know, and also the news and notes for the day. You like that? You like that? For the last, well, really few days it's been happening a lot. Um, of course, the first thing, and I mentioned this in a previous video, um, Tommy Lasorda passed away. It's going to be, uh, you know, it's a, it's a loss for the baseball world, although he was quite old, so... You know, that, that does tend to happen when you get up in your 90s. But, it, you know, the baseball world is going to miss um, Mr. Tommy Lasorda, the longtime manager of the L.A. Dodgers. Um, but we will we'll soldier on. But, you know, it was, uh, he gave us, he gave baseball fans everywhere a lot of, uh, a lot of great memories, especially Dodgers fans. So, uh, the first bit of sports news that I have is about the NHL season, which will start on January 13th, and uh, it'll end on May 8th. That's what the plan is right now. It will be four divisions. One division will be all of the Canadian teams. I'm not going to go over all of those, but, I mean, if you're a hockey fan, you're aware of the Montreal uh, Canadiens, the Calgary Flames... The Toronto Maple Leafs, yada, yada, yada. All the Canadian teams are in one division. Then there's going to be an, uh, a West division. The West division will have Anaheim, Arizona, Colorado, L.A., Minnesota, San Jose, and St. Louis. Then you got a Central division. It's notable that the uh, St. Louis Blues will not be in the Central division. Uh, the Central Division will be Carolina, Chicago, Colorado, Dallas, Detroit, Florida, Nashville, and Tampa Bay. And what's also notable here is that the NHL is geographically challenged since you've got Carolina, um, Florida, and Tampa Bay in the Central Division. So, um, there is that. Then you've got the uh, East Division, which rounds out the American Divisions, and that is Boston, Buffalo, New Jersey, New York Rangers, New York Islanders, the Philadelphia Flyers, the Pittsburgh Penguins, and the Washington Capitals. Now, my understanding is that much like baseball last year, actually very much like baseball last year, it's going to be a 60-game season and all of the teams will play only amongst themselves in their division. So, forcing bubbles, if you want to call it that. Um, so, that's my understanding on the NHL season. Looking forward to it starting. I'm a big Islanders fan. I think the Islanders should still be quite good this year coming up. So, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, if you are a football fan you, and you've been following the news, you know that Doug Peterson, the head coach of the Philadelphia Eagles, was fired. You can't handle the truth! Which is kind of shocking, but really not. I mean, it was shocking from the standpoint that he's been a coach in the NFL, a head coach in the NFL for the Eagles for four years. And in three of those four years, he went to the playoffs. And in one of them, he went to the Super Bowl and won it against the New England Patriots. So, uh, 
But then again, on the other hand, you also know that he's got a very toxic relationship. I don't think it takes Einstein to figure out that he has a toxic relationship with um, Carson Wentz, uh, one of the quarterbacks on the team. And also, Carson Wentz happens to be the quarterback that they're paying a crap load of money to. So, if somebody's got to go between one of those two, you're going to jettison the guy that doesn't make quite as much money, and that's um, going to be Peterson. So, and there's a lot of other speculation. I've been watching the, you know, the football shows, and they've talked about how, um, you know, the Eagles organization didn't like Peterson's vision for the uh, for the future of the organization. There's discussion about the fact that Peterson has been pushing more lately to get his coaches in. He wants to make his own coaching staff, thinks that he's earned the right to do that, and the Eagles probably disagreed with that. I mean, that's possible. We don't know because we don't really have all the details on that. But Doug Peterson is now a free agent coach and available to sign with anybody who wants him. Speculation has been that the Jets might want him because the general manager of the Jets worked with Peterson previously, and hey, who am I to say that that's not true? Um, the Eagles do have the issue, though, now that they don't have a coach, and it's not a very desirable job because they're just about capped out uh, for um, financial space. They don't have a lot of draft picks, and now they have a, a quarterback controversy that has kind of been... Uh, percolated based on this past season. So somebody's going to be stepping into a hornet's nest when they take that job, and we'll see just how that goes. Uh, baseball news. We have two um, signings. One for the White Sox, and that's Liam Hendricks. Yes, Liam Hendricks, the great reliever, formerly of the Oakland A's, is now on the Chicago White Sox, and bolsters their bullpen, and if you've seen my past videos, you know that I've said that they need they needed to bolster their bullpen, as well as their staff, and they, uh, they did that uh, by getting Lance Lynn. And so now they have signed um, Liam Hendricks, Lance Lynn, and, uh, <clears throat> and Adam Eaton to be the left-handed side of a platoon, potentially, for right field. So, uh, yeah, he gets a three-year, $54 million deal, which is a big deal for a reliever. And, uh, you know, I'm all for it, because, you know, I'm not paying the salary. So, I'm happy to see Liam Hendricks in the bullpen. We needed that, and... Uh, I think that strengthens it. We, we're also bringing back Evan Marshall. We're going to have, you know, the flamethrower out there, Crotchet, who can throw like 102 miles an hour. So it's, uh, you know, it's good stuff. Um, so that's the baseball news I've got. No, it's not. It is not. I lied. Um, Kyle Schwarber is going to the Washington Nationals. So now the Nationals not only went out and got Josh Bell, but they went out and got Kyle Schwarber. Now, most baseball people would say, what is the problem with this picture? Well, there isn't a problem if you plan on playing Kyle Schwarber in left field, but he's a lawn gnome in left field. And you have to play Josh Bell at first base because, as we know, the National League this year will not have a D H, so uh, neither of those guys can be what the National League doesn't have, which is a D H. So you're going to see Josh Bell at first, I would suppose, and Schwarber in left, and that's going to be uh, that's going to be something to watch. It'll be quite entertaining. But uh, anyway, that's uh, now that is all the baseball news. I and now we're going to talk, lastly, about the national championship game in the NCAA football, where the Ohio State, my Ohio State Buckeyes, got destroyed by Alabama by the score of 52 to 24. Um, Fields, the quarterback for 
Ohio State was 17 of 33 for 194 yards and a touchdown, which isn't going to cut it. Um, and their running back Teague had 15 carries for 65 yards and two touchdowns, which was a 4.3 yard per carry average. None of those things, when you look at Alabama stats, are going to cut it. Mac Jones, the quarterback for Alabama, was 36 of 45 passing for 464 yards and five touchdowns. That was crazy good. And their running back Harris had 22 carries for 79 yards and he even added two touchdowns. So that was huge. All of that was pretty huge. And so now we're going to get on to the news of the contest that I held and I am going to put an end card for the video where the contest was uh, first uh, put up and all of the rules are in that video and so I did a random selection using my office assistant Alexa who helped me randomly pick based on the numbers of the uh, the, I went by the numbers of the order in which everybody responded to that video and assigned a number, 1 through 21. And then I had Alexa pick a random number between 1 and 21, and she gave me a number. And the winner of the contest, it turns out, is Steve P. So Steve P. can choose from the, um, the prizes that were offered in that video, or if he wants, he can even ask me if I have some other whatever type of thing. I have a lot of sports memorabilia and a lot of Stratomatic stuff. If he's a Strat guy, which I think he is, but um, we'll see. Um, you know, I'm, I'm open to suggestions, but uh, I did give some solid, I think, uh, potential prizes in that video and he can pick from one of those if he wants and then I will uh, send those to him once he um, sends me an email and lets me know what address to send the stuff to um, and then we will go from there and my email is right there on my uh, you know my little um, mat my sportsman Z mat in the background which I have up and there it is again so get my head out of the way of it so yeah Steve send me a an email let me know which prize you want and where to send it what the address is to send it to and then um, at whatever time I am able to get it out um, I will bear in mind that the post office has been ravaged by the current administration a little bit so um, you, it may be a while before you actually receive the prize in the mail. Um, we, we experienced that with Christmas gifts. We experienced that with cards and things that we've sent for Christmas. So you know, you're going to have to deal with that. Although now the demand is a little less, so maybe it won't be a big problem. But anyway, I digress. So that is, that's going to be all I've got for this video. I think I've wrapped everything up into one nice, neat little ball. Got all the sports news in there, um, or the important sports news, um, and for my White Sox, of course, big, getting another reliever in the bullpen, another good reliever in the bullpen to go with the ones that we had, but that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.